Hi, I'm Paul Sillers of Firewalls for Now and Firewall News. Uh, and in this edition of Out of the Box, we're going to be looking at this pretty hot off the press, only been around a few months. And um, certainly, there's not many vendors around in Australia that have these. We've got plenty of these in stock, access to these in stock at the moment. This is the uh, Ubiquity access point. This is the HC um, High Density HD High Density. Not to be confused with high definition, um, which is what I always think it is, but high density. Um, so as you know, this is not meant to be an uh, uh, in-depth technical overview. This is meant to be what you get in the box, so you can at least see it. Um, so we're just going to open this up. So great access point. Um, why is it exciting? Um, this is the first Wave 2 product that um, Ubiquiti have. So as you know, um, there are standard restrictions in the way that Wi-Fi works. Um, as standard, it's a half duplex, which means that if a, if a device that's connected to it is sending, it can't receive. We've then moved on in technology to try and increase um, that, but by definition, uh, wireless can only talk to one device at one point in time, so it cycles through um, really quickly all of the devices, but that puts a pressure on it. As we see the start of Wave 2 products coming through, then it means that multiple connections can be handled at the same time. So we increase the, the capacity um, and the throughput that can happen, because obviously we can handle um, input and output at the same time. Um, so this unit is rated um, by Ubiquiti to be able to handle about 500 devices connected to it at any one, in point, what, any one point in time. Your environment obviously will determine whether that's true or not depending on what type of data you're putting through it. So let's have a little, little look. This is a little bit bigger than the AC Pro. Um, so for you guys who maybe um, have the AC Pro um, already, still in the same uh, format, it's a, a lot heavier, I can tell you that, a lot more chunky. Um, so let's just open this up for you. Standard Ubiquiti uh, style there. Um, everybody always wonders initially about the, the wall plates and how it all fits. Um, you have a, a ring disc here. This would generally sit on the um, upside of um, your ceiling tiles if this was going into an office. Um, and then it'll actually fit through to the bracket um, that is already quite neatly on the unit. Most people miss this, just think it's part of the unit and go, oh, where's my ceiling mount bracket? So this here, so if you've got a solid ceiling or a wall, then you can mount this bracket directly on the wall and then it clips um, directly in. If you're gonna put this onto a ceiling um, grid, um, then you'd normally use this on the upside of the ceiling grid so that it can bolt through to it. So I'm just gonna take that off. And then I'm just going to lift that up here so you can see the undersiders. Hopefully I've turned this the right way around. There we go. So you can see your Ethernet port in. This is standard PoE, um, so it's not a Ubiquiti Zone 24 volt again. So this will be run off any PoE switch that you have. Um, you've got a secondary Ethernet, um, which is set as a pass-through um, that you can use there. Um, I don't think there's really much more that you want to see on that. Uh, you can see the profile, obviously it's going to sit on your ceiling like that. I'm just going to open this up. As standard though, in a normal Ubiquiti way, this does come um, with a power over Ethernet injector. I'm just going to open this up. I've gone to white now for these um, models. Um, so let me just show you that. So it's got a clover leaf um, connector that comes in. And then obviously on this side here, you've got the PoE. Um, out that's going to carry out to the unit and you've got the LAN connection um, to your uh, physical network um, and these do have, I never remember which way, uh, again these are wall mountable if you want to use this bracket um, to clip it so it neatly can stay out of the way. Um, that's the power over Ethernet ejector. We've got a, this came is obviously Australian so again we've got a, probably about a half meter um, power cable. Um, along with the uh, bolts that you get for ceiling mounting and uh, normal screws for, uh, yeah, sorry, the, the bolts are for if you're going to bolt this through into a ceiling tile and then you've got standard wall mounting um, or standard solid ceiling brackets as well. In the same way as the AC Pro, um, this is um, a weather resistant, maybe I would use those, those terminology. So. Um, if you may be putting this in an alfresco area, outside area, you're looking at something like that, um, then that will work for you. Um, I've just locked this in place so I can't actually show you where. Um, 
Um, they're not watertight, they're not weathertight. You need to really use the outside devices uh, for that. Um, but you do get a plug that comes with this, um, which actually then sits in here, um, as you can see. Um, and so that's where you complete off your weather resistance. So yeah, good if you can put this as long as it's not going to be hit by weather directly, but at least stops animals, stops moisture and things like that getting into the device. Um, but obviously it's not going to take driving rain or anything like that, ice um, thrown against that. So hopefully that's been useful for you, give you a, a, a look at that, which is um, the new Ubiquiti Unify ACHD, the high density uh, model that's its first Wave 2 product. Um, and hopefully it's been useful. My name is Paul Sillers of Firewalls for Net and Firewall News.